This is the solution to written homework 21. So in order to understand this question, a few students were not entirely clear on the jargon associated. So when you say a diameter, this language uh, means that given a circle, so if here's a circle and this is another copy of the same circle, then this, those two red points are the endpoints of a diameter, and that is the diameter where we are referring to, but here is another diameter. So in this usage, a diameter means a line segment which bisects, which I'll say evenly, bisects a circle. Whereas when you say the diameter, this means the length of any diameter. So, <clears throat> We're talking about a circle that has a diameter with those two endpoints. So let's plot those. So negative 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's point negative 3, 4. And 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's point 5, 0. So those are the diameter endpoints. Calculate the center of this circle. Well, so here is that diameter. And the center <coughs> of that circle for part B the center of this circle is going to be the midpoint of the diameter. And if we call this point A and this point B, then the midpoint M will be A plus B over 2, which is negative 3 plus 5 divided by 2 and 4 plus 0 divided by 2 which is negative 2 over 2, uh, no, positive 2 over 2 which is 1 and 4 over 2 which is 2 so 1, 2. So having a look at the at the uh, drawing here that looks pretty good so that is the midpoint. If we call that M, there it is. Okay, so that's, that is C. Part D is calculate length well the length will be d equal to square root <clears throat> the difference in the x's squared plus the difference in the y's squared
So that is the square root of, well, negative 3 minus 5. Square that. Plus uh, 4 minus 0. Square that. So that'd be square root of, well, <clears throat> that's negative 8, but then squared, that would be 64. And that's 4 squared is 16. <clears throat> so that's the square root of 80. So that's the exact answer, and I don't want a numerical approximation. Calculate the length of the radius. <clears throat> okay, so E. Well, the length of the diameter is right there, so then the length of the radius is half of that. So the radius is half times square root 80. And then finally, F, plot the circle. OK. <clears throat> well, so it's also going to need to go through that point and this point. So we need a circle that goes through all of those. <laughs> square root of 80 is about 9. And then 9 over 2 is 4 and a half. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half ish. And 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half ish. So a circle which goes through those points. So that is a diameter of that circle, and that's the answer.